Hi, RG Boy, RGBoy.com, and today I'm going to present you this lens, the Viltrox 13mm 1.4 for Fujifilm X. I tested it on the XE1, but it could be XT, XH, or whichever uh, uh, Fujifilm X, not GFX, okay? So let's start. So I'm going to show you some pictures I've made during the video, and at the end of the, vi the video, I'll put all the pictures together, okay? Here's the box. As always, cardboard, solid, really nice, nice presented. It includes the lens, obviously, the uh, sunshade, and also a small pouch to transport uh, the, the lens, obviously, the caps. Okay, so here's the lens. As you can see, it is beautiful. It's wow, really incredible. It's all metal. Uh, the sun, sunshade is also metal. You have uh, aperturing in third from 1.4 up to f16, okay? Then you have the A here for uh, aperture priority. This is an autofocus lens, and uh, this is really beautifully, uh, beautifully built, uh, really. So I'm going to uh, tell you my impression, show you pictures, and tell some uh, technical details. But uh, so far, beautiful. Let's speak about the technical side of this lens. That is really beautiful. I really love it. Okay. The equivalent in full frame is about 20 millimeters, 19.5, 20 millimeters, and the angle it covers is 94. Point, uh, 0.06 or 56 I'm not sure, degrees okay but around 95 degrees okay this is an autofocus lens it has a STM motor so it means silence and really fast uh, on this camera that is not a really fast camera maybe I could not notice a really fast autofocus but I know some people have tested on the XT4 for example or XT5 I don't know but XT4 or X, uh, XS10 and things like this it's really fast, really good and precise. In low light, it still uh, worked fine, okay? If we look at the build, 14 elements in uh, 11 groups, two are aspherical, and I think this is why the image quality is really good. I would say this is probably the best Viltrox lens I've seen so far. I've tested other, they were fine. Some had some strange red uh, flare, okay? It was characteristic or feature or whatever you want to call it okay but it, it is what it was okay this one no this one is really controlled really good not much flare really nice and actually uh, the build uh, the, the element the aspherical element are probably helping a lot with uh, lens distortion i'll show you right now a wall with bricks or blocks and uh, there is not much distortion this is really good and uh, i think they really work hard on this to to make it uh, uh, the perfect uh, architecture a lens or a landscape the distortion is really fine okay if we look at uh, the aperture from 1.4 up to f16 well at 1.4 i think sharpness is uh, okay it's acceptable the corners are also okay it's not really as sharp at 2.8 uh, as at 2.8 okay but still uh it's really fine i think the overall lens has better sharpness than some uh, fujifilm lenses i think uh, i was surprised i was surprised i think the 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 sharpness is really nice i know it's not all about sharpness but uh, you have more things to take into account when you uh, decide on a lens but i think the results are really good if we look at a uh, vignetting well uh not much at 1.4 there's nothing you cannot solve okay so i think this is i was surprised uh the results are there so this lens is really incredible honestly if you look at the uh aperture it has nine blades so uh the out of focus the bokeh is well it's okay uh, it's not really round but that's fine okay uh, anyway on a really wide angle lens normally you don't uh, search uh, or try to get really a stunning bokeh you have more things in focus okay but still as the minimum focusing distance is 22 centimeters you can still get as i show you right now you can still get out of focus part and uh, really shallow depth of fill at 1.4 okay so if you're really close okay so uh, yeah, yeah, that, I was surprised. You can use it for this also. The weight is 420 grams. Uh, you, that's not little, but still it's well balanced. If you look on this lens, the center of gravity is around here, okay? So many people make a mistake. They use lenses like this, take the camera like this, like this, it's crazy. Lens should sit on your hand, in your hand like this. All the weight is in this hand. 
and this right hand is just to trigger or uh, with your thumb to focus if you have it in the back okay but this is for that you should not uh, use this nor like this like this is this way you really steady okay so i think the weight is okay is okay and i think it gives uh stability actually so i really like it one thing i like is not it's wide angle well super wide angle but not ultra wide i would say so you can still put a filter this is a 67 millimeter filter thread you can put whatever you want uh well uh, uh polarizer nd filters uh filter holder whatever so this is fantastic you can still have this okay uh if we think of who could use this lens well i would probably use it for a landscape for indoor photography and also one thing i could not try because it's been cloudy here for many days it's uh, astro photography but i saw a guy on youtube who used it uh, in his uh, trip to africa and he actually uh, made a uh, astro photography and that was really good really the results were there so, so so this is a lens you could take into account for that kind of pictures also one thing is it seems it's not weather sealed and dust proof okay is it a problem well depends on you on my camera that is not uh, weather sealed doesn't matter because you need the combo to be completely sealed in the case you bought specially a camera that is sealed then yeah logically you would need a lens that is sealed if you go to a situation that uh, you need weather sealing or dust proof okay so well it, they, they don't say it's not they just don't say this okay so i don't know more than that okay if you look at the lens also here you have a usb c connector what is that for you can actually update uh, upgrade the firmware so this is important to upgrade it if you want it to be compatible with future camera anyway on viltrox website you have a table a chart that says uh, what firmware for the camera uh, what firmware for the lens and all this okay so it's really easy you know if you need to update or not okay to upgrade or not okay so re really okay so i think this uh, lens where does it uh, sit in the fujifilm uh lenses okay because it's a viltrox but where would you place it well fujifilm has a 14 millimeter i think it's more expensive than this i don't really remember the quality okay but uh they don't have 13 so that would sit next to it okay fujifilm has a zoom lens i think it's 10 to 20 or 10 to 22 i'm not sure but it's 2.8 okay so i think this is a fantastic option for someone who needs wide angle uh affordable lens great build quality uh really good image quality so i think this is completely recommendable so actually if i go around making pictures with this camera i will definitely bring this lens i think the size is acceptable for uh, this focal length and this aperture and i think this is the ideal lens for that okay uh, by the way at 1.4 with a lot of light uh, if you're using uh, this camera that goes only one uh, one over one over four thousandths of a second well obviously it's too much light that comes in so you would need to go to electronic shutter uh this one i'm not sure if i can do it on this one and uh otherwise put on any filter but that's logical with not with this lens with any lens okay but i think this uh, lens is completely recommendable so if you are interested i'll leave you a link in the description on where you can buy it so thank you so much viltrox for sending me this lens thank you to my mother because uh, they sent it to france because they couldn't send it direct to the canary islands and then my mother forwarded it so thank you so much okay thank you to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel small button down here so small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website erichipo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below I also leave you links of my gear on amazon links of everything reviewed by kf concepts and mark and flashes by westcott and also a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation thank you very much please take care of yourself and see you soon bye